and welcome to Blender. I will be showing you how to um, rig your model that you made in Sculptus and possibly animate them. And the reason I showed you how to make stuff in Sculptus is because it's a hell of a lot easier doing that in that program than it is in Blender. So first we're going to import the OBJ file tutorial monster.obj. Now every single time I import a Sculptus model into Blender Half of them always comes out with this really black and ugly looking thing. There's one really long option on how to fix it. You can cut it in half and then copy and paste it and mirror that and then join the two together and then symmetrize them and that's it's a really tedious process and it doesn't always give good results. Or the quickest way is you simply you have to import the textures by coming to this checker thing, new open and importing the texture map wherever you see now it has textures you can hit s to scale it and you can move it around with these things as you can see now what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to export to a clada or point .de, .de file as this is the quickest way to fix that problem you can export it in the same spot that you saved all the other files. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down here to texture options, include material textures, and include UV textures. And you click export clada. I've already done so, so there's no need. I'll just right click that and delete. And then I'll import the clada file. And as you can see, there's no problems. You hit shift Z, there's texture, it's great, works perfectly fine. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, hit 5. This gives you good grid mode. 1 gets front, 3 is side, 9 is uh, top, or 7 is top, 9 reverses whatever you're doing. We'll, we'll stick with 3 here. First we're going to go ahead and hit shift A for armature, single bone. Let's move it, and we can hit the cube thing right here and click X-Ray. Okay, there we go. And this this just allows you to see through the mesh a little easier. And then we can hit Tab to edit once we've positioned it properly. And then you hit the E button, and this just sort of extrudes or cut, like gives another bone coming out from that area. And do that again. Whoa, wrong button. Okay, shift, like Sculptor, shift also allows you to pan easier. Let's see, give him a lower jawbone, give him a head bone, and then give him a upper jawbone. Okay. And then we give him some tail bones. Now the tail and the spine are not really connected, so you'll have to sort of manually get in there, or you can find other ways to connect them. But it's not worth it. Let's see, shift A. We're going to give him some legs now. We're going to want to, as you can see how I'm positioning it, it's got to be centered and it's got to sort of follow the where the joints are on the knees, as you can see, if you want it to bend properly. Let's see, that's the foot. Okay, and then let's do the same for the arm. Oops. Wrong button, okay. Ah, wrong button again. Shift A, okay. Simply do that. Do that. Do that. And then we can we can position it later if we'd like. Give them some finger bones. I'm only giving them one bone per finger. You can do more. I've done more in the past in a few models that I've messed around with so far. I myself am still just a beginner, but I have enough knowledge on it to do some basic stuff. And I thought, what, which, how I learned it quickly might help how others learn it quickly. It's best not to just sit there and watch a bunch of tutorials and get bored. Watch things that allow you to actually use it practically. 
and then go back to the other stuff later or Google how to use each thing you want to do at the moment. That's the best way to learn in my opinion, at least it is for me. It's the most effective anyways, for those who get bored easy. And so now as you can see we have the basic model. I believe that this is of course always going to be need to be reposition direct center. Let's see, is it? Yeah, I'll put a little further in. Okay. Oops. I could be forward a little bit more too. Wouldn't hurt it. Okay. <coughs> what we're going to want to do is also select the wrist and the ankle bone. Hit E. And bring these two bones out. And then in the bone section up here, you're going to click Deform on these. This way it doesn't affect the model. This right here can just come right back up here. And since this is a wrist bone, um, I think it can just be like that right there. That, that would work. Um, and then what you're going to also do is you're going to hit Alt-P and Clear Parent. You're going to do the same for this one down here. Clear Parent. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... Oops. As you can see, it's no longer connected to the bones. Select the foot, and then shift, and then select, by right-clicking, the uh, IK bone, as it's called. Hit Control p and click Keep Offset. And the same for the hand and that one, too. Keep Offset. This way, when you go into Pose Mode, by clicking Control tab you can also do it from the selection up here, as you can see, armature pose. But now that we've done that, we can see that it, uh, oh. Well, that's because I haven't quite, uh, done, done this yet. Select the IK bone. And then select the leg bone that is connected to. Control shift C. Inverse kinematics. And now, as you can see, it is connected, at least in the way that it, it controls the other bones. And you can do the same with the arm, or you should do. This is optional, but it makes it a lot easier to pose your bones. And what you're going to want to do is click the yellow button. You're going to want to click the chain thingy. One, two, three. That's how many bones are in the leg. One, two. That's how many bones are in the arm. Optionally, you can um, also go over here, Shift A, to create another bone. Okay, that seems to be decent enough. And then in pose mode, well, what you're going to want to do, of course, is go to the bone and you're going to hit the form on it again. And in pose mode, you can select the yellow bone and go to the link thing again. And, well, this thing needs to be named real quick. Let's just name it knee point L. All right, okay, so now we've done all that good stuff. We can select pull target, armature. And then down here on the bone, we uh, can select wherever the knee point L is. And don't worry about that. You can, you can fix that by... Hitting 90 or minus 90 if you wish, whichever way it decides to turn on you. And so now, as we see here in pose mode, that uh, the bone will sort of conform to facing that bone that we just placed. I myself don't really prefer using this, however, so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of it. Okay, so now that we are relatively um, rigged, we're going to want to start naming these bones. It's, it's a must. Upper arm point L. Right. Lower arm point L. And you're going gonna to gonna want to make sure that it's that point L at the end. You're just going to got to make sure. Okay, because that signifies it's on the left. Okay, hand 
and it makes it a lot and it's very important when you start animating um i am um i k point l hand point l okay um finger one point l finger two point l finger three point l all right and then you can do the same for the leg upper leg point l mid leg point l lower leg point l foot point l and leg ik point l the spine and the head and the tail they're not as important to name it's a good practice to name them but for this the um speed of this video i'm not gonna bother okay so now what we're gonna do is set cursor to center select all the stuff in the middle okay shift d sx minus one and you have to be in the armature mode not close mode to do this and then you go to armature and you go to flip names that way everything is point R. This allows it so that you can easily, like if you pose it to where, well I'll show you in a minute. What you're going to do now is you're going to select the mesh, or we're going to get out of edit mode. You're going to select the mesh, then you're going to shift and right click on the bones, that's how you select. And then you're going to hit control P and you're going to select the one with automatic weights. Okay. And whoa, sorry about that. Let's go to pose mode. And as you can see, the bones are now manipulating the way in which your model itself works.